What's up you guys, it's me Skylar. So today I thought I would do a little Q&A about the time that I filmed my commercial with Simone Biles. So I posted this YouTube short a couple days ago and it kind of went a little bit viral so I've been getting a ton of questions about the day that I filmed this commercial. So I'm gonna answer them for you guys. Let's get right into it. But first, let's just take a minute to talk about my favorite mental wellness shot, Magic Mind. I have been taking Magic Mind for over a week now. As you can see, the box is almost empty. It is also doctors validated. Magic Mind has been created with a scientific advisory board of doctors and medical researchers. It's been in development for over 10 years and has over hundreds of iterations just to perfect their formula. And I am ready to read my word and drink my Magic Mind wellness shot. I am so excited. I read my Bible daily. I am Christian and after taking Magic Mind for over a week, the results have been showing in my focus and my comprehension. And I am not easily distracted like I used to be. And my mood has been lifted. I want to read my Bible instead of just making it like, oh, I have to read my Bible. I'm like, I want to read my Bible. I'm more motivated and I have a positive mood. Magic Mind has produced some amazing results for me. So here I was filming a self-tape audition for my acting agency and I had great sleep the night before. Ever since I started taking Magic Mind, I have felt more prepared and I saw out in one minute every time I'm about to go to sleep. This was a two hour long audition and I would not have been able to get through it without sipping my Magic Mind mental wellness shot in between takes. I run every single day and I noticed that after taking Magic Mind, my energy has been uplifted and I'm wanting to run more instead of less. I've been going to the gym every day and my motivation has skyrocketed. I'm excited to work out. I always drink my Magic Mind before my workout and every time I I drink Magic Mind before my workout, I know that not only after my workout am I gonna feel phenomenal, but during the workout I feel phenomenal. Magic Mind really is magical, you guys. <laughs> Use my code SKYDERLY20 for 48% off your first purchase for the next 10 days. Link is in description. So the first question is, did you have to audition for this commercial? So the answer is yes. I did have to audition for this commercial. So I got the audition through my agent and it literally just said that this is a Powerade commercial, it's a national commercial, and they need a gymnast to do a skill on the floor. And by the way, they didn't even mention Simone Biles' name. So what I did was I sent in an audition tape that I made a few weeks ago for a Gatorade commercial that I auditioned for, which unfortunately I did not get, and Sofina De Jesus got it. So if you wanna go look that one up, you can. It was basically the same thing, and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'll just send the exact same audition tape that I sent in for Gatorade for Powerade because they're asking for the same thing. I didn't really think much of it. I didn't really care and I was just like, eh, I'll just send it, whatever. And I even told my agent, oh no, like the quality is super bad. I don't think they're even gonna be able to see my skills or my floor routine because they told me to do like a floor routine and put like other music behind it. So I just did like a layout routine and I sent it in and I was like, this is gonna be so bad. They can't even see my face, it's so pixelated. So I was like really stressing but my agent was like, no, they could see your face perfectly fine. And I was like, oh, okay. And I literally forgot about it. So yes, long story short, I did have to audition for this commercial. Next question is, how did it feel meeting Simone Biles? So honestly, it was really surreal. I remember I was there and I had to like warm up my skills and I had to like warm up back handsprings and I even warmed up a front aerial on the beam and it was like really dark in there and it was like 50 degrees and I was freezing and I did a front aerial and it was like dim and I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't do a front aerial because I did one and I was like, that was a little sketch. So I was like, mm, maybe not because it's really dark in here. But she wasn't there yet and I just saw like from the corner of my eye, like it was like pitch black and I just saw like this light coming through like with like a blue shirt and it was Simone Biles and she just came like walking towards me. She goes, hi, I'm Simone. I was like, um, I know who you are. I was like, I know, girl. I was really nervous. My heart was pounding really fast, but yeah, it was it was really surreal. Next question is, was it hard to fall off the beam on purpose? Not really. I mean, all I had to do was a front walker, which is a skill I have been doing for 
many, many years. So I just had to do it from walkover and then lean to the side and fall. And the thing is, they had me do this front walkover like 50 times and the, it wasn't just a front walkover. First they had me go back handspring step out, stop, front walkover, fall. So I had to do like 50 back handsprings and then a front walkover, but for the Powerade commercial, they cut out the back handspring and just put the front walkover in there. I was doing like back handspring, back handspring. It was intense, guys, I'm serious. I was like 50 degrees and Simone, which was very helpful. She told the director, she was like, it's freezing in here, we need a heater. So they brought a little heater for me. So I was like, thanks Simone, you're the best. You always know. <laughs> Next question is, how long did it take to film? So I'm not exactly sure. I know that I got there on Wednesday at like 12 or 1 and I know I had to get like hair and makeup done and we had to like go to the gym and like drive in like a little van and drive there and then I guess we started filming at like 6 o'clock and we ended at like 10 might have been four hours I'm not really sure I mean I just remember doing it over and over again it was just I kind of felt like I was in autopilot because it was like I don't even like rem I do remember it but it wasn't like when I was there, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is Simone. I was just kind of like, I'm just like on autopilot. I don't know what I'm doing. It was, it was kind of like, I felt like I was in a dream. That's kind of how it felt. But yeah, it took like a long time. Next question is, did you get to talk to Simone? Yes, I did. We talked about, she's talking about like, oh, what release do you have? And I was like telling her, oh, I did Jaeger and I'm working Maloney. And she was just like, oh, that's cool. Like, And we were like in the gym and she was like, oh, I can never do a release on this bar because of the ceiling so low. And I was like, yeah, totally. <laughs> What's crazy was I'm 4'11". I think I might've been 4'10 at the time, but I was taller than her, which was like crazy. Cause I'm like shorter than everyone I know. You know, so she asked me how old I was and she was like, you're 19. I was like, yeah. She was like telling the director, she's like, she's 19. There's no way you're 19. I was like, yeah, I'm 19. And she was like, do you like do this acting thing a lot? And I was like, yeah. She's like, that's cool. I did not feel like I was in my body. Like I felt like an out of body experience. It was really insane. Did you volunteer or was this a paid commercial? So, no, I did not volunteer. This was a paid commercial and I got paid $20,000 to do this commercial. Yeah, $20,000. I mean, that is a lot of money. Did you get to drink Powerade on set? No, I was very upset because Simone, she did like a portion of the Powerade commercial and she was like drinking it and she was like, like pause is power and she gets to drink the Powerade and I really wanted to drink it. I was just like, oh, I need to drink the Powerade, but I didn't get to drink it, which was kind of sad. Every time I see Powerade in the store, I'm like, oh, Powerade, um, I know you. Next question is, were you nervous filming in front of Simone Biles? Honestly, I wasn't, which is kind of weird because I had to fall. So like, you'd be nervous and then you fall, but I had to fall, so it really wasn't that scary, you know? I was nervous to ask her to take a picture with me because I was like, fangirling, but I don't know, I just wanted to take a picture with her, so that was kind of the, I guess, the most embarrassing thing, or most nerve-wracking thing. Here's the picture that we took together. So, yeah, I mean, that was probably the most nervous I got when I was asking her, can I take a picture with you? I was not nervous to fall off the beam in front of Simone Biles, no. What was the audition process like? Well, I kind of just explained it, but remember I was at practice on a Monday, and I think I sent this on a Friday. I got a callback email saying, Hi Skylar Joy Lee, you got a callback from Broadcast TV, which is like the casting agency or whatever. And I was like, what? I was like, for what? And I was like, a power commercial. And I was like, oh my gosh. I had a callback the next day and I got on this Zoom with the director who was awesome, I loved him. And he was like, okay, so I need you to do your skill and um, I need you to fall off and be like, ugh. And then Simone Biles is going to walk up to you and be like, it's okay, you'll get it tomorrow. And I was like, Simone Biles? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, he's joking. That's not like that. That's just a little joke. And he was like, no, yeah, Simone Biles is gonna be in this commercial. And I was like, Okay, and so I did the whole thing and I was like, 
And I was like, you'll get it tomorrow or whatever. And I did like the whole thing. And he was like, wow, that was great. Thank you so much. And I was like, you know, I love this concept. I told him, I was like, I love this concept, this commercial. It's just going to be awesome. And the crazy part is, I remember waiting in the waiting room, because you have to like wait on a Zoom waiting room. They said, oh, up next, before Skylar, we have Kyla Ross. And I was like, Kyla Ross? But I was like, Kyla Ross? Because I went to Gym Max, and Kyla Ross is an Olympian in 2012. You should look her up if you don't know, but you probably should know Kyla Ross. Oh my gosh, Kyla Ross is auditioning for this. I'm like, I'm not getting this if Kyla Ross is auditioning. I really wanted a young gymnast, and it would be kind of weird if you saw Kyla Ross falling off a beam with Simone Biles, you know? But yeah, that was the only doubt I had in my head. And I like told my dad, and he's like, you're going to get this. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. Then a few days later, I was put on a veil, which meant that... I didn't know it at the time, but avail meant like we have to see your availability. It's between like you and a few other girls. I thought I booked the commercial and I was like telling everyone at my gym, I was like, I booked it, I booked it, I booked it. And then like my agent's like, oh no, you didn't book it. We're just waiting to see if they picked you because it's between you and like a few other girls. And I was like, oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> and so then I was like praying, I was like, God, please, like I'm sorry, I shouldn't have told everyone. I, like I thought this was the end. And then I remember on a Thursday at like 7. 7 p.m. They're like, hi Skylar, you booked the Pirate Commission. I was screaming! I, it was like the best day of my life. I was so excited and then the next week I got a fitting and then I filmed it on the Wednesday and you need to click the eye up there because that is what it's like filming a commercial with Simone Biles. You need to definitely watch that video. Last question is, does Simone Biles follow you on Instagram? The answer is... No. When I posted her and I posted the commercial, she hearted my story, she liked my post. I didn't expect her to follow me because we only filmed for like four hours together. So yeah, she does not follow me, but I do follow the director of Powerade and he does follow me. So yeah, and I do follow Simone, but yeah. So if you guys have any more questions, put them down in the comments. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys are amazing. Thank you all for 13,000 subscribers. I am so thrilled to be making content for you all. And guys, make sure to use my code SKYDERLY20 for 48% off your first purchase for the next 10 days. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I hope you have a great day.